guys, so what you first want to do is you want to prime your eyelids for your eyeshadow application and I am using a concealer from LA Girl Pro in the color Fawn. And now I am using a BH Cosmetics blending brush, or actually it's a contour brush to blend all of the products out so that I can have an even canvas. Now I'm going in with this flesh tone color by MAC, I forget what color it is, but I'm just going to set that concealer with this color just so that um, it won't crease on me when I'm putting my shadows on. Now I'm going in with Max Golden Rod and I'm going to pack this all over my lid using a Sigma um, foundation brush, not foundation, <laughs> eyeshadow brush. And you really want to just pack this on. Um, I kind of went in small sections first and just put a whole bunch of products on my brush and just packed it all over the lid. This is a really, really pretty color too. And then I'm also going to have, go ahead and do it on the other eye as well. Now I'm going in with the Chocolate Bar Palette by Too Faced. I'm going in with that blue color. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner of my V. And then later you'll see me smoke this out. from MAC and I'm just going to color correct now I am going to say that I went a little crazy with this but it all comes out in the end <laughs> not use the foundation today but you guys will see in a minute what I'm going to use. So now I'm going in with my NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. Now it says it's a skin tint but personally I believe that it is a foundation um, so yeah but mine is in the color medium dark too. You just want to blend that all over using a beauty blender or a brush whatever you have and just make sure that it's all blended out. And it looks a little orange here I do know that um, it'll all come together later once I do my filler and everything. not so much a highlighter more so a regular concealer um it is a little bit lighter than my actual skin color so it could be a highlighter it's just very subtle um i think i am going to explore a brighter highlight at some point but for right now this will do i'm just gonna do under my eyes bridge of my nose cupid's bow chin and forehead I'm going to blend it out with that same beauty blender. And when I just sprayed on it, it was fixed plus 
Blends by MAC. And it just helps to blend the blending process to go a whole lot smoother and to give you a flawless finish. For me you don't have to do all of that but it works for me next i'm going in with my matte concealers in nw40 as well as nw42 i'm going to mix the two to contour and i am blending this out with bh cosmetics um a bh cosmetics contour brush your brush kind of upward so that it'll blend properly so that you won't look like I don't know child but when you're doing that make sure you blend upward and then I'm also going to just do my forehead and then the trick to contouring guys is blending like you can't have that stuff on your face and then you just leave it there like you have to blend it which you'll see me do in a little bit with another brush a while but blend that stuff out I also like to set mine at the same time with a powder while I'm blending so it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone and here I'm just gonna go back in with the product that was left from the contouring on my cheeks and just do it on my nose and I use my finger just because it blends better for a more natural finish and then you want to just dust that powder away and I'm using another um, brush from the contour line by BH Cosmetics going in with a setting powder by MAC. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark and I am just setting all the places that I did not set when I did my highlighting. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild blush or I call it a blush. It's not really a blush. It's more so a highlighter because I wanted a subtle, a subtle blush and it is in the color Fergie. Now I'm going back in with that golden rod and I'm going to put that on my bottom lash. And what this does is not only is it pretty for the eye look, but it also makes your bottom lashes pop. So if you're a girl who doesn't have a lot of bottom lashes, try putting a color at the bottom and then putting your mascara on and it'll make your eyelashes pop. Thank me later. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and Honey Child, I use every last color in that palette. <laughs> I just mix all of them and I go crazy. Um, yeah, you can use this dry, you can use it wet. I personally, since I was going to work, I just used it dry because I did not want to be all popping and whatnot at work and people like, why is your face wet? So, look at that, that is so pretty. So yeah, I just went ahead and used all of them dry and Honey Child, that is now I'm going in with my Smashbox um, Full Exposure, I believe that is, and I am just going to do my regular lashes. No need for falsies, simply because I am going to work, and this look is already very well over the top to be going to work, but, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs>
and recommendation um this specific spoolie or whatever you want to call it is great for top lashes but for bottom lashes i would recommend that you use one that is thinner um simply because this big old thing is kind of hard to maneuver on your bottom lashes but i mean it's doable to get you a thin one to getting dressed okay so the outfit details are as follows the top and skirt are from New York and Company my bag is from Michael Kors and my shoes are from Guess so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one bye